if you are not designing your journal covers just in Canva, but you have your own software, maybe a free one like GIMP or a paid one like Photoshop, InDesign and Affinity, then you have the option to download a free commercial fonts from the web. I do that regularly. Uh, there's a website called 1001fonts.com where you can download free fonts for commercial use and there are plenty. You have to actually go through them page by page. There's not a very handy, I mean, user-friendly search, unfortunately. I usually go for handwritten fonts that look good and is, are readable. Like this one is handwritten, but it's extremely hard to read. I'm going to ignore that. Handwritten fonts work very well on journals and it does such fonts look great on the journal and these journals generally sell better. Alrighty, um, this is not what I'm looking for. Okay, I have to go to page three and again, again, scroll through these fonts. This one looks great. It's a handwritten font, quick hand. It would look great on a black background and it is free for commercial use. I love it. So you download that and you scroll down and look for another ones and you might end up with another 20 free fonts that you can use. This one looks great and would probably work great on children's books. Good dog plane, page five. This would work very well for Halloween. I would download this just for the Halloween. Anyway, um, this is it and I hope my video has been useful to you and see you later. Did you like this YouTube video? If so, you can go to classwithme.com where I give you another class. It's uh, 15 minutes long and I show you 11 most important tips for KDP business, for Kindle business. Uh, what to avoid and uh, what to do if you want to be successful and once you watch it you can also join my course by clicking on yes I want this it will redirect you to a secure checkout it's one dollar for the first five days and once you uh, make a payment it will redirect you to the welcome video of my course and you can watch all this for just one dollar for the first five days if you don't like what you see you click on cancel one dollar trial email me here this is my email address and i will cancel your one dollar trial no questions asked